Hi friends, good evening and welcome to my channel Mukambika Nursing. Friends, here daily we are discussing questions for RRB staff nurse exam, also ESIC, DSSB, AIMS NOSET, DME Kerala PSC exam, also insurance medical service exam. RRB and ESIC application, online application noted started. We are waiting for that. Those who are eagerly waiting for this applications start to study now itself. I am also preparing questions based on the previous year questions, also important questions. Surely these questions will helpful for your studies. Here we can discuss today's question. It is from pediatric nursing. In the previous video also we discussed questions from pediatric nursing. Let's start the question. First question, psychosocial development of children is proposed by options. Option A, Erickson. Option B, Freud. Option C, Paget. Option D, Kohlberg. Stages of psychosocial development theory was proposed by Eric Erickson. Okay, here option A is the correct answer, Erickson. Second option, Fruit, that is Sigmund Fruit by psychosexual development theory. And third option, Paget or Jean Paget by cognitive development theory. And third option, fourth option, and Lawrence Kohlberg by moral development theory. And the next question, according to Eric Erickson, psychosocial development theory, what is the development task of a toddler? Options. Option A. Autonomy versus shame and doubt. Option B. Trust versus mistrust. Option C. Industry versus inferiority. Option D. Initiative versus guilt. Toddler or early childhood period that is from 18 months to 3 years. And the main psychosocial crisis occurs is autonomy versus shame and doubt. Option A is the correct answer. First option, trust versus mistrust occurs in infancy, that is birth to 18 months. And uh, option C, industry versus inferiority, which is occurs in school age between 6 to 12 years. And uh, option D, initiative versus guilt, which is occurs in late childhood, that is 3 to 6 years after toddler late childhood. In that period, we can see initiative versus guilt and the next question which part of the brain controls and integrates the activities of autonomic nerve system options option a hypothalamus option b thalamus option c midbrain option d cerebrum and the correct answer is option a hypothalamus which controls and integrate the activities of autonomic nerve system and the next question which vitamin deficiency is not seen in newborn? Options option A, vitamin D, option B, vitamin A, option C, vitamin E, option D, vitamin K. And the correct answer is option C, vitamin E is not seen in newborn. And the next question, baby receiving kangaroo mother care should be monitored for options option a neck position option b airway clearance option c body color option d all of this here question is baby receiving kangaroo mother care should be monitored for all the things that is neck position airway clearance body color all the thing we have to monitor so the answer is option d all of this in kangaroo mother care baby should be positioned between mother's breast in upright position and the head should be turned to one side and slightly extended it is mainly for the airway baby's hip should be flexed and abducted in like a frog position and the baby's abdomen should come in mother's epigastrium and the mother should support the baby at bottom these are all some important tips while giving or while doing kangaroo mother care. And the next question. Breast milk at room temperature is stored up to. Options. Option A 4 hours. Option B 8 hours. Option C 12 hours. Option D 24 hours. At room temperature. Breast milk is stored up to 8 hours. Option B is the correct answer. But in case of refrigerator. We can store up to 24 hours in a refrigerator. 
Other name of mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome is options. Option A Kawasaki disease. Option B Edward syndrome. Option C Laughing disease. Option D None of this. And the correct answer is option A Kawasaki disease. Kawasaki disease means it's an acute inflammation in the walls of blood vessels in human body. And it is most commonly seen in infants and children. And the next question, a child who is on cast complaining of itching, action needed to taken by the nurse to relieve itching is, option, option A, apply cool air under the cast with a blow dryer, option B, apply lotions on the body, option C, remove the cast, option D, none of this. Question is, a child who is on cast and complaining itching, that is, under the cast, the child is having is itching. So, what is the nursing action? She can do apply cool air under the cast with a blow dryer. So, while doing that, the child will get relief from itching. And the next question, untreated strabismus can lead to options. Option A, cataract. Option B, glaucoma. Option C, loss of vision in the affected eye. Option D, all of this untreated strabismus strabismus is one of the vision disorder in which the eyes do not align each other or the eyes do not line up both eyes do not line up in same direction okay in that cases if we are untreated means this may cause loss of vision in the affected eye option c is the correct answer and the next question, otitis media in children is caused by option, option A, Haemophilus influenza, option B, Streptococcus pneumoniae, option C, E. coli, option D, A and B. Otitis media means inflammation of the medulla. In children, it is caused by Haemophilus influenza and Streptococcus pneumoniae, both A and B. Option D is the correct answer. And the next question, most important toxic side effects of NSA IDS is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug is options, option A, constipation, option B, hyperthermia, option C, hematuria, option D, feed intolerance. And the correct answer is option C, hematuria is the most important Toxic side effect of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. And the next question. Lead poisoning most commonly affects which body systems with irreversible side effects? Options. Option A. Cardiac system. Option B. Central nerve system. Option C. Gastrointestinal system. Option D. Genitalia and urinary system. Lead poisoning most commonly affect central nerve system. Option B is the correct answer. And the next question, bronchiolitis is commonly seen in which age group? Options, option A, 2 to 5 years. Option B, 5 to 10 years. Option C, less than 2 years. Option D, all of this. Bronchiolitis is most commonly seen in infants and young children. Usually less than 2. 2 years is one of the inflammation of the air passage of the lungs. Okay, seen in less than 2 years. Option C is the correct answer. And the next question, following the poisoning with acetaminophen, which among the following signs does the nurse expect? Options, option A, fever, option B, jaundice, option C, right upper quadrant pain, option D, headache. Question is, after the poisoning with acetaminophen or paracetamol, which signs does the nurse can expect? And the correct answer is option C, right upper quadrant pain. Because the acetaminophen poisoning can damage the liver. Due to that, the child may experience a right upper quadrant pain. And jaundice, jaundice may be a later symptom. So, first the child may experience right upper quadrant pain. And the next question, in poisoning, the first action expected from a parents is option, give ample of water to the child to drink. Option B, call an ambulance immediately. Option C, call the poison control center. Option D, note down the signs and symptoms developed by the child.
question after poisoning the first action by the parents okay they have to call the poison control center immediately that is the first action before giving anything to the child the parents should call the poison control center because they will give some directions to the parents so call poison control center first then according to that we have to do the next thing so here today we discuss questions from pediatric nursing again next set of questions we can see in the next video thank you for watching my channel if it is useful for your studies please subscribe my channel and share my videos to your friend circle